Hey, this is Clover, and I'm solving Philip Newman's puzzle, Trapper Lines, which was the gas puzzle originally posted on January 20th, 2024. So this is a zipper killer Sudoku. So we have standard Sudoku rules. We're placing the digits one through nine once each in each row, each column, and each outlined three by three region. We also have killer Sudoku, so we have some cages in the grid, and there's a little clue in the top left corner of each cage that tells us the sum of all of the digits in that cage. Now, conventionally, killer Sudoku requires that you not repeat digits in a cage. That is mentioned in the rules here. We're not going to have to worry about it while we solve, though, because all of our cages in this particular puzzle are contained within just one row or just one column. Therefore, we're not going to have to worry about it because that'll just be covered by Sudoku rules. But we do have to look at the totals. And finally, zipper rules. We have some odd length gray lines in the grid. In this case, they fully overlap with the cages. Along each of these lines, whatever number goes in the middle cell has to be equal to the sum of each pair of digits that are equal distance away from it. So for example, whatever we put in this cell has to equal the sum of these two cells. And it also has to equal the sum of these two cells. And that's where we're going to start. So we know that the total along this line is 15, right? So let's say that we called the digit in the middle x. In that case, these would have to sum to x, and these would also have to sum to x. So in total in the cage, we would have x plus x plus x, which is 3x. And if we do a little algebra, 3x equals 15, therefore x equals 5, and the middle number there is 5. And in general, for all of these length 5 lines, we'll be able to divide the cage total by 3 to find the digit that goes in the middle. So that's going to be an 8, a 6, and a 7. Now, the math is a little bit different for these shorter lines. If this value was x, then the sum of these two values would also be x. So we would have a total within the cage of 2x. So for these, to find the middle value, we have to divide the cage total by 2. So in this case, it's 6, 5, 8, 7 and 4. Now some of these are quite restricted. So for example, these two cells have to sum to 4, and there's only one way to do that using two digits that see each other in a Sudoku. That's 1 plus 3. Here we have two pairs that each sum to 5. The only numbers we can use in a sum of two cells that sum to 5 are 1, 2, 3, 4. So we're going to use all four of those here. And that makes these four digits 6, 7, 8, 9. There's already a 7 in this region, so the 7 in the row goes here. And this starts its life as a 6, 8, 9 triple, but that's quickly going to change because this and this have to sum to 7 to fulfill the zipper line rule. Therefore, this cannot be 8 or 9, it must be 6, and that tells us its counterpart down here is 1. That's now a 3 and a 1. Now, what goes in these three cells? These have to be 2, 3, and 5. That's all we have left to place in the region. So these two have to sum to 7, and that makes this a 2, a 4, or a 5. We can't resolve that yet, but we will soon. This 12 cage, these two cells have to sum to 6. They can't be 1 and 5 because we have 1 in the row, so the only other way to make 6 is a 2, 4 pair. That eliminates 2 from these two cells, and we can place a 2 here. And just for the sake of tidiness, because we eliminated a 2 here, let's also be careful to eliminate a 5 from that cell. So what next? If we look down here, we have a very symmetrical deduction. These pairs each have to sum to 6, and just like with 5, there are only two ways to make a sum of 6 using two cells that see each other. There's 1 and 5 and 2 and 4. So those are the exact four digits that we're going to use in these four cells. We don't know what order they go in yet, but we'll figure it out soon. That leaves us with 3, 7, 8, and 9 to place in this row. The 8 can't be in this region, therefore it's here. And this is a 3, 7, 9 triple. This is a little bit less restricted than its a kind of symmetrical counterpart up here in the top right corner, but it is still restricted, and let's see why. So this can't be a 9, because these two have to sum to 8, and 9 is too large. But 3 and 7 are both small enough. 3 would pair with a 5, which is fine. 7, though, to sum to 8 would have to pair with a 1, and because we placed a 1 earlier, we don't get to use that anymore. So that is a 3-5 pair. These two digits sum to 5, so that's either 1 and 4 or 2 and 3. This can't be a 3 because there's a 3 in the region. In fact, let's take a moment and look at these cells. So 6 can't go in either of these cells, and it also can't go here thanks to the calculation we just did. So 6 in the region can only go there. 
And 6 to sum to 8 needs to pair with a 2, so that eliminates 2 from this cell, which eliminates 3 in turn from this cell. We also have a 3 in the column, so that eliminates a 3 here, which eliminates a 2 here, because again, these two have to sum to 5. So we can now get rid of 1 and 4. Now here's a really cute moment in this puzzle, and there are a couple ways to see this. I'm just going to show you the way that I like to see it, because you generally do see this pretty often in Sudoku, a particularly killer Sudoku, I find. This pair has to sum to 5, right? And there are two ways to make a sum of 5. There's either 1 and 4, or 2 and 3. If we were to make this a 2-3 pair, there's no rule saying that this can't be 2 or this can't be 3 right now, but if we make this one 2 and this one 3, we end up with a problem because we can no longer put anything in this cell. And in general, what you want to look out for is situations where you have two dominoes that have the same sum that are kind of perpendicular to each other like that, because it's possible that if you make one choice for one of those dominoes, you're going to end up ruling out every option from a cell of the other one and breaking it. Another way to see this, and honestly, this is probably simpler, I just don't think it's quite as cute, is that the 1 in this 1, 2, 3, 4 quadruple has to go down here. So one of these has to be a 1, it is a 1, 4 pair. That reduces this to a 2, which gives us a 4 here. This is now a 3, which gives us a 2 here. And the 4 we just placed makes this a 1 and makes this a 4. Now what do we still need in this region? We need 1, 2, and 4, and we can't quite resolve that yet. We can do a little bit of Sudoku though. So for instance, we have a 7 in this row, that removes 7 from those cells, so we can place a 7 here. These cells contain 1, 8, and 9. That can't be 1 due to the, or that can't be 8 due to the 8 in the column, and this can't be 1 due to the 1 at 4 pair in the column. This is now either 1 or 9. This sum is starting to get pretty restricted, so we can't use a 1 and we can't use a 5, so how else are we going to make a total of 8? It's going to have to be 2 plus 6. That's the only remaining way to do it. Now we need an 8, 9 pair here, which goes this way around. And we still need 3, 5, and 6 here, and that is not a 6 due to the move that we just made a moment ago. Okay, let's take a look at this row. So we still need 3, 4, 7, and 9. We have a 1, 4 pair here and a 3 here, so that's not 3 or 4. We have a 3 in this region, and we also have a 4 here, so that's not 3 or 4, and that's not 3. So we can now place 3 in the row, and we can place 4. At this point, we're looking to clean up some of the pairs that we've been looking at. So for instance, we kind of left this on the table for a while, and now we've made a lot more progress on figuring out what order these 1, 2, 4, and 5 go in. This can't be a 1, so this can't be a 5, because it sums to 6. This also can't be a 1, so this also can't be a 5. So now we have this 2, 4 pair, which makes this a 1, 5 pair. But there's a 1 already in this column, so we actually know at this point what way around those go. Next move, we have a 2 here that eliminates 2 from these cells, and a 2 here that eliminates 2 from these cells. So the only position for a 2 in box 6 is this. That 2 takes care of this 4-2 pair. Now let's look at this 7 sum. We probably should have looked at this earlier, but let's take a look at it now. So there are three ways to make a sum of 7. 1 and 6, 2 and 5, and 3 and 4. We definitely can't do 3 and 4, because both a 3 and a 4 see this cell. If we're doing 2 and 5, they have to go this way around, because of the 2 and the 5 here. And if we're doing 1 and 6, we actually can't do that at all, because we have 1s seeing both of those cells. So this is actually the only configuration that's going to work. That means this can't be 2, so our 2 is going to go here. In this row, we still need an 8, and we also need a 3 and a 9. The 8 can't go in these cells, so we're going to place an 8 over here. And that will be our 3 and our 9, and we can eliminate a 3 from that cell. These are going to be 3 and 9, and we can't put a 3 in this position because of the 3 in the region. So that resolves this into a 9, and then a 1 and a 4, and takes care of our 1, 4 pair there. It also takes care of everything up here, and gives us our 7, 9, and I believe it's going to also tell us what goes into these cells via Sudoku. That is correct. Okay. So the only thing we still don't know for sure about this left third of the grid is this 7-8 pair. Now we need 5, 6, and 8 here. 6 can't go into those cells because there's a 6 in the column. So this is now a 5-8 pair. In these two cells we need a 1 and a 9. They'll go like that. And we have an 8 and a 9 here. 
Now let's finish up with classic Sudoku. So we need a 4, 6, and 7 in these cells. There are 4 and 6 in this column. And this will be a 4, 6 pair. We need to place a 1, 3, and 5 in the column. And the only thing that can go here because of the 1 and 3 is a 5. So that's all taken care of. The 5 also resolves the 5, 8 pair, which in turn resolves the 7, 8 pair over here. Now these cells contain 3 and 7, these contain 4 and 6, and our last two digits are going to be 4 and 9. And that is how you solve trapper lines by Philip Newman.